Energies. Mr Speaker, uh, just on that very point actually of holding the Government to account, the Leader will know that the uh, public inquiry, the Infected Blood Inquiry, is now due to report, it seems like, in 2022. But in light of the fact that there are still concerns about the financial support and the disparity between the nations uh, and the support they offer, and the fact that one person is dying on average every 96 hours and the lack of compensation, could we please have a statement from a minister to update us on progress on those particular issues and also update us on the inquiry and the, fin and the emotional counselling support that should be made available uh, to people affected? Leader of the House. Um, the Honourable Lady has very cleverly ensured that she was called when the Health Secretary is sitting <laughs> next to me, and therefore this message has been heard by an authority that is greater than mine in dealing with this issue, and there are health questions next Tuesday. But I can add uh, that this inquiry is an absolute priority for the Government that recognises the dreadful, desperate scandal that infected blood was and I think also recognises the Honourable Lady's formidable and right campaign to make sure that people are aware of it. Uh, the Department of Health and Social Care has increased financial support to beneficiaries of the Infected Blood Support Scheme in England um, and is looking at a matter of urgency, the issue that the Honourable Lady mentioned uh, in relation to the differences between the schemes in England and Northern Ireland and Wales uh, and the Secretary of State is here and has heard her point. Just